that's always a big mistake is going after a giant market on, uh, on day one, because that's typically evidence that, um, that you somehow haven't defined the categories correctly, that the, and it's, it normally means that there's going to be too much competition in one way or another. And so I think almost all the uh, successful companies uh, in Silicon Valley had some model of starting with small markets and expanding. And you know, if you take Amazon, you start with, you start with you know, just um, a bookstore. We have all the books in the world, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a better bookstore than anybody else has in the world when it starts in the 90s. It's online, there's things you can do you can't do before. And then you gradually expand into all sorts of different forms of e-commerce and other things beyond that. Um, you know, eBay, you start with Pez dispensers, you move on to Beanie Babies, and eventually uh, it's, it's all these different um, auctions for all these sorts of different goods. Um, and, uh, and what was very counterintuitive about, what's very counterintuitive about many of these companies is they often start with markets that are so small that people don't think, um, they don't think that they're uh, valuable at all when, when you get started. Um, the, the PayPal version of this, was uh, was you know we started with uh, with power sellers on eBay, which was about twenty thousand people. When, when we first saw this happening in December of ninety nine, January two thousand, right after we launched, uh, there was a sense that uh, that these were all um, it was such a small market. It was terrible. We thought these were terrible customers to have. It's just people selling junk on the internet. Why in the world do we want to be going after this market? But um, but you, you know, you, there was a way to get a product that was much better for everybody in that market. You could, um, and we got to something like 25, 30 percent, you know, market penetration in two or three months. And you got some lock-in, you got brand recognition, and you're able to to build the business from there. So, um, so I always think these um, these these very small markets are are quite underrated. 